Welcome everyone to Beer, Bourbon, and Games, and Happy Holidays to you. If you don't like Merry Christmas, then Happy Festivus for the rest of us. We're going to take a look today at a holiday drink. It's going to be a pretty brief video as it's not super bourbon related. But today we're going to take a look at Evan Williams Eggnog. Now fun fact, I've never had alcoholic eggnog before. Where I live, I always buy Turkey Hill Eggnog. And the stuff is delicious, but this is going to be my first ever experience with an alcoholic version. So, what better way to do it than on this show? So, we're going to look at Evan Williams Eggnog. It says it's the original Southern Eggnog. I don't know if there's a Northern version. I've never seen it branded that way before, but we've got the original Southern version. On here, it does say that it's made with Kentucky Straight Bourbon, blended whiskey, rum, brandy, and it is only 30 proof. So this is not going to knock us on our ass at all. Should just be a nice little holiday treat. So I'd say when you've got to go over to your aunt's uncles or anyone that you don't want to see this holiday, maybe sneak a little bottle of this with you and uh, give it to give it to those people. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll cheer up a little bit and it'll be a little bit more fun at the in-laws. So without further ado, let's see if it's any good. Let's crack it open. Now it is a twist off. So any purists out there, it is not going to be a cork. I didn't expect that for a $8 bottle of eggnog. So let's see. Ooh, it smells good. It smells just like the Turkey Hill eggnog, but with a little hint of bourbon in there. And I did get a nice clear glass so you guys can go ahead and see what this looks like here. Oh, that is nice. That is thick and creamy. It is coating the glass very, very nicely. It's a nice, nice smell coming off of this. Vanilla mixed with a little bit of nutmeg. Kentucky bourbon in there. You can smell bourbon very, very lightly. The 30 proof, you're not going to have much, unfortunately. And uh, other than that, kind of smells like a creme brulee. But... Not much that we're going to nose with, uh, with eggnog, so let's just see how it tastes. That's all we're really here about. We just want to know what it tastes like. Oh my. That stuff's dangerous. So it tastes just like the eggnog that I am used to from Turkey Hill. Very good, thick, vanilla flavor. Um... You've got a light bourbon taste in there overall, but mainly this, if you've had eggnog before, this tastes just like eggnog. Definitely loving it. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Really, really enjoy this. Now, one way to make this even better, I'm going ahead. I've gathered a few things. Everything, and I mean everything. I'm going to zoom in on this and slow-mo it with a little careless whisper. Everything is better with whipped cream. So we've got ourselves some whipped cream. And why not top off our holiday treat with a little bit of nutmeg sprinkled on top. Now we've got ourselves a nice holiday treat. We've got eggnog, whipped cream, uh, nutmeg. This is going to be a nice, a nice drink for the holidays, something that you can easily bring out. You're not gonna get people too hammered. They're not gonna feel bad about drinking it. So I would say overall, my first experience with Evan Williams eggnog was definitely tasty. This was only, I believe, $8 at my local store. Might be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on where you live. But I can highly recommend this overall. I really recommend just bringing it out to a party, bringing it out to a holiday get-together, whatever you need, or maybe just take it home and unwind. It tastes really, really good if you like eggnog. That is the big caveat. Not everyone likes eggnog. So if you don't like eggnog, you won't like this. If you do like eggnog, you should probably like this. 
I recommend just spicing it up a little bit with that whipped cream and nutmeg on top just to give you a nice little holiday cheer in a cup. So from my family to yours, I want to wish everyone a happy holiday and a good new year if I don't see you. I might have a little bit of break in between the next video as I have a very big project that I'm going to be starting on Thursday. A lot bigger than anything I've done on the channel before. So it might take a little bit of time to really perfect that. I might release some smaller videos in between. Not 100% sure how it's going to go. Hopefully it turns out well and I hope you guys enjoy it. But it's going to be something a little different. But from me to you, I hope you have a great holiday and a happy new year. Cheers. Remember to always drink good bourbon.